Hey, what's up? Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. The video you're about to watch is of S&P client Julie. Now, Julie had just turned 40 and things had really turned a corner for her. She was getting so frustrated with all these faddy diets that she tried, faddy gym programs, and she just couldn't find her love of exercise. She was also kind of worried that it would be a massive waste of money, it'd be such an expensive waste of money for her. And she was just really worried that she wouldn't be able to kind of find that, that passion and that drive again. So go watch the video right now, check it out. Please, can you tell me your name, age and occupation? My name is Julie, I'm 42 and I'm a contract manager. Thank you. And can you tell me what encouraged you to join S&P? The things that encouraged me to come to S&P was I've tried everything else. Mm -hmm. I've tried traditional gyms, yoga, swimming, diets, 5-2, Slimming World, everything, everything that everything. there possibly was. And it got to the point where I thought, I'm 40, this isn't funny anymore. If it's not going to happen now, it's not yeah. going to happen at all. No. So I, I saw the adverts on Facebook mm -hmm. and just thought I'd give it a go. Right, mm. okay. And um, tell me about what your fears were before you actually came through those doors of S&P. My fears were that I was spending money and it wasn't going to work again. Mm -hmm. So it was going to be another false use of money and I might as well just put it down the drain. Mm -hmm. That was my biggest fear. The other fear was that I didn't know how I was going to be tested in terms of my strength and my existing fitness. I always thought I was all right mm -hmm. until I did my first session. <laughs> Tell me more about that, please. I, well, I remember walking in and it, the environment was, uh, wasn't, wasn't as I expected at all. Um, and it was straight in, doing it immediately, and I remember having to do the prowler the first time, which wasn't too bad until you stopped, and then your heart leapt into your mouth, <laughs> and I just thought I was going to have a heart attack. But you didn't. But it's you're amazing fine. how quickly you get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. And when you said the environment was different to what you expected, what? How was it different? Everything, absolutely everything. So from the offset, the culture was different. People were warm and welcoming. They'd help you. They'd encourage you. And it just isn't a traditional gym. It was mm -hmm. just everything but. So all my expectations were completely thrown out of the water. Right. In a good way. In a good, oh, in a fantastic yeah. way, yeah. Good, good. And tell me what you struggled with before you joined S&P, so the reasons why you wanted to join. The things I struggled with were commitment. Mm -hmm. Commitment, an ongoing commitment to something. So I'd, mm -hmm. I'm quite faddy. So I never really stick to anything. So in 42 years, I've never, ever enjoyed sport, although I've tried to. So it was always a must try harder, one of those yeah. things at school and it was just, I tried everything and it was just rubbish. So it, it, was, it was that and I had a really bad relationship with the scales. So I'd get on the scales and I was a bit obsessed about how much I weighed mm -hmm. rather than anything. So, you know, I could be a stone and a half lighter than I am now but still not be happy because it was the scales, yes. whereas that has completely changed and I don't go on scales. Excellent. Which is really positive. So how are you judging? Your... I will, well, I, I don't go on scales at home, mm -hmm. so they, they remain nicely tucked away. So I'll come and do my, my sessions with Laura and she'll do a, a body fat measurement and measurements and yeah. weight and I'll see what the progress is. Cool. Mm. So that's the way you quantify it now. Photographs, I presume, as well? I do do some photographs, but it's, it's more about, um, I've, although I've changed shape, I've mm -hmm. just become more solid. Mm -hmm. So although I haven't, my clothes aren't hanging off me because of the, the change in shape, it's, everything's become more solid, so that has built confidence in itself. Okay, cool. And tell me about your results that you've you've seen since joining. So you mentioned to me before that you wanted to do running. We wanted to be good at running. Yeah. Tell me about running. Running. Still not that great at running, <laughs> but I can do do a lap of the mill without without Perfect. stopping, which is an incredible progress for me. Yeah. Um, what, what was the question again? I told you I'd ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Let me just see. It. Um, what results have you experienced? What results? So, right. so when I do the prowler, I don't mm -hmm. feel as I'm going to have a heart attack. Fabulous. So I can see people that started, you know, struggling and just giving that reassurance because you can see how far you've travelled when you see that you were, you were in, the, in the same sort of place. Yeah. Uh, I've lost a stone, 6% body fat. Oh, and I just feel better. I don't drink anymore. So every night I was coming in and, and I'd have a glass of wine mm -hmm. and it, it becomes a little bit habitual. Mm -hmm. So now I don't tend to drink really? at all. So it's probably once or twice a month, if that. Fabulous. So that's completely different. Diet has changed, so uh -huh. I've become more aware I probably wasn't eating enough before. Okay. And thinking, oh, I can't lose weight. I'm hardly eating anything and I still can't lose weight, whereas it's actually about fueling your body with the right thing. So that's right. changed quite a lot. And you've learned, so you've learned quite a lot then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so you're feeling a bit more empowered and more confident body-wise, would you say? Yeah, definitely more confident, definitely more in control. Mm -hmm. It's not a quick win for me. It's a, you know, they've been here for six months, so it's a, it's a long process, a long yeah. journey, but I'm all right with that because mm -hmm. I don't, I wouldn't stop coming anyway. I think you, although you get fitter and you can see yourself getting fitter, yeah. you know that you can just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, yeah. which is why when you get the new boards, you just get those little butterflies thinking, oh, it's like walking into an exam, you're not quite sure what to expect, yeah. how well, far it's going to push you, how much it's going to hurt the next day and things, but it's always good hurt. Uh -huh. They're thinking, what have they thought of doing yeah. now? How did they think that? How? <laughs> Where <laughs> does this come from? Yeah. Yeah. Who's responsible for that? <laughs> Um, so uh, you mentioned about S&P helping you with nutrition and, and drinking and, and everything really. Is there, is there anything else you've not mentioned that you think we've helped you with? It's introduced me to some really sound people, oh, which good. is really nice. And just, just a whole new concept of what a gym means and exercise. Mm -hmm. I've introduced the kids to it. You yeah. know, not once do you go, I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. So I've been every single, I've been three times a week apart from once I didn't go and I made up my own board at my mum's. Fabulous. So it's yes. and it's it, we always want to go. Yeah. Whereas before, when we went to other traditional gyms with you know the, the typical equipment, it yeah. was like oh, I better go to the gym, and you just got that impending doom about going, and you sort of drag yourself around. Whereas here, it's something that you look forward to. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's, it's different. It's it's a buzz. It's good. And why do you think it's so different to anywhere else? What is it about the place? I think people are like-minded. Mm -hmm. I think everybody is encouraging. They all pull together. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a shout. They'll give you a kick up the bum if you're not doing <laughs> as hard, as, you know, pushing yourself as much as you can. Mm -hmm. The coaches are fantastic. They'll have a word with you. They'll give you support mm -hmm. as and when you need it. And they'll, you know, they'll, they'll say, well, try this or try that. Mm -hmm. You know, even to the point that it, it, it's, it was quite a slow process for me. And I sort of stuck my head in the sand and I was getting a bit frustrated and every week I was saying, when's it gonna work, when's it gonna work? But it all sort of happened all at once, although it wasn't within weeks, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's all sort of started falling into place. And it's that, that belief in you and you've got the belief in yourself then. Mm -hmm. And finally, what would you say to someone considering joining S&P? Join. <laughs> That's join, it, the join, end. Join, join, <laughs> join, it's fantastic. It, it's, you think it's expensive, but you're investing in yourself and it's not, it's not expensive for what, what you get out of it. It's no. just phenomenal. So for anybody that has never really liked exercise, hasn't really stuck to anything, doesn't really know what to do, mm -hmm. it comes, work and believe in it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, what a great story. Um, if anything that, that really inspired you by watching Julie's video, um, what I'd like to really, really do, it. in fact, what I urge you to do is, is go below, I'm sure on this page there, there'll be a link somewhere to an application page. Um, if you can find that, please click on it and fill out as much detail as possible. And once you've done that, we'll be able to get on the phone with you, arrange a time and speak to you and just really delve into a bit more detail and see if we can move you forward and put all the frustration and pain and misery in the past and really move to a much more clear and focused, driven year. Okay, guys? So... Um, fill in the application form and we'll speak soon. This is Z from SB Gym Stockport. Take care, speak to you soon. Bye bye.